Hello, peace, love, positivity. Hello, it's your boy K Swelly. And the reason why I just want to come to y'all and make this video to y'all so is so we can just really tackle this mystery and the confusion of everything that's going on around us. So we can really truly learn to grasp and take control of our fears and conquer them truly. Um before I get started, I just want to thank God for really giving me this enthused mind of enthused thinking and just giving me this questioning mindset to question everything and before accepting anything, just go out and test it until it satisfies my beliefs. And I, I, I just thank him for that because without it, I wouldn't have gotten to this point in my life and I wouldn't have really been able to realize the secret, the power within myself and what greatness I hold and what greatness we all hold and that's what I really want to touch base on with you guys here so you guys can really get in touch with yourself and let me put my phone on the charge before it dies because I do not want to lose this video again and have to do it all over again but check this out um is it charging is it charging I'm sorry I just want to make sure it's charging okay it is it is it is it is <laughs> so we have all heard that the power that we need most all lies within us and yes that is very true man we need to stop stop with the deceptions and the lies and people trying to tell you that you are not powerful because each and every one of us is the most powerful as being ever but we need to realize that we are all one we are all connected we are all children of god children of this creation children of everything that lies before us we are all connected this is us this is all us we are all it and we are not going to be able to realize that until we come connected with us right here, right now. So, we need to really get rid of the whole thought of tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. Live for today. Tomorrow, Yesterday is gone. Live for today. Tomorrow, let me say that again. Tomorrow is not here. It is just a figment of our imagination. And we are creating that once we get into that moment. But we need to realize that everything is happening now instead of foretelling or trying to predict it's not here yet we all want to understand the secret of life this why are we here this is the most commonly asked question why are we here what are we supposed to be doing here it's so simple that the answer that is given to us we just pass by because it's just that simple but what if that simplicity is it we are here just to live we are here just to live life and love it live love life it's that simple. We are the secret to life is living. We are here. We're just simply here to live and experience life to the best of our ability. But instead, we'd rather, we are stuck in this box of thinking that we have to fulfill something greater, and which is why a lot of us feel such an empty feeling inside, because we are going after all these other um, uh, other concepts of fulfillment and success. You know, so what? You, you know, no matter what, you can spend your entire life striving for a goal and i guarantee even after you achieve that goal you are still going to feel that emptiness unless you have come one with yourself and understand that you are it you what we really are yearning for we want to understand who we are we want to understand where we came from we want to understand where we are going but we are never going to understand any of those unless we know who we are and who we are we are all connected and we are all subjectively experiencing one another all at the same time what i'm trying to say is without startling anybody that we are all god we are all connected we are all it we are all life life within life experiencing life at the same time as life life is us is we are life we are god we are the creation we created creation we created everything that's going around us. so everything that we see everything that we we experience everything that we see and try to interpret we are interpreting our creations our life our imagination projected through the visual realm this 3d realm everything that we see around us we have created believe it or not tell me <sighs> we need to realize that life is so much more than material objects, material things, material wealth. We are most richest when we love each other, when we share a common feeling, a common goal, a common reality. And that reality should be is that we are all one big happy family. 
and we are willing. No, think about it. Think about it. We are all think, if we realize like the, the illusion that we have created with, within ourselves or for ourselves is that we think individual individually. The illusion is that no, we are not separate. We are more alike than we are. We are more alike than we are separate. We all share the same mind, the same tree of life. We all came from it. So how could we be separate? How could we possibly be different? How could we possibly be something else? We are all the same. We should all be treated equal. We should all be pushing each other towards the same goal. Uh-oh. There's that Illuminati fucking triangle we see. I'm sorry for my language. I'm, I apologize. But there it is again. We are all working together, pushing everybody to the peak. And we're all being programmed to thinking that it's bad. It's not. It's really not. It's where we. It's who we are. Where we came from. What we are here for. Everything. Check this out. Everything about your world is a lie. But it's a lie because they told it to us this way. Everything in this world is the opposite. Everything. We are the chosen people, but we are being controlled. We are being manipulated by outside forces. We need to take control of ourselves. We need to take control of our society. Our people are hurting, dying, getting killed every day. But we do not do anything about it because we are so dependent on our government and what other people might do. We have this whole mindset that, oh, it will deal with itself. No, no, it will not be dealt with until we take actions ourselves. Until we get out there and try to make the change. No, not try to make the change. Until we get out there and make that change, it's not going to change. So we need to get up, get out there, make our voices heard, get everybody connected, get everybody in there, working together for the same goal. We want to see we want to see peace in the world. Let's make peace happen. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. But instead, we are all trying to achieve greatness all by ourselves, which is which is hurting us. I know we've all heard heard a saying, united we stand, divided we fall. And that statement says it all right there. And there's nothing truer than that. United, united we stand. Brothers in arms, standing tall. We will not fall because we are all standing together. You got my back, I got your back. You got my back, we all got each other's back. So we are strongest when we all work together, move together, and speak together, sing together, march together. We are all unstoppable. But until we realize that, we are all just as weak as our weakest link. Until we realize that we are all brothers and sisters in this huge family. <laughs> I hope you guys are seeing saying this. Like, this makes me so excited that I am a part of something greater. You are a part of something greater. You are a part of a physical body. We, we all make up a piece of this physical body here on earth. We all do. We all share this gift. But we're not taught about it. We are not taught it. And I just, if you continue to listen to me speak, you will slowly, but surely, but surely, gradually learn who you are and realize that everything that you've been searching for is not out here. It's none of this. None of this out here is you. Nothing out here. What you are searching for is not out here. We need to stop looking out here for answers. The answers lie in here and here. They all lie here first. All the answers lie right here. Stop looking everywhere else. It all lies within. It really does. Someone told me that and I didn't believe him. Until last night. I've, I've always known there was something within. I just cannot find it. I cannot find it. But it's here. I, it's here. I feel it. It's within me. It's all within each and every one of us. <laughs> we are all alright. We are all... I believe that we will all get through this. I believe, you know, the destruction and corruption in this world will all deal with itself. We, we, the people, we, the children of God, the children of life, we all will deal with the corruption in this world. And after this year, this year, <laughs> we will see the biggest change in history this year. And I mark my words, this year marks the change of humanity. But I'm just going to say it there, but there's more. There's more. You think, you think you've seen it all. You haven't seen it yet. You have not seen the powers that lie within. And with that being said, we have not used it. It's all been sitting dormant for so long while they just sit up there and laugh at us. But you know what? I'm going to let them have their fun. I'm going to let you laugh. I'm going to let you think that you have control over me. But I am free. I am 
free. And I will. And I will prevail. I will reach the top. I will do whatever it is that you said was impossible. I will destroy you. If you draw your weapon against me, I will destroy you. I believe that. I believe that anything that we put our minds to, we will accomplish. And we will. We will. Whatever you want is yours if you believe into it. If you believe it, it's yours. Because if you believe it right now, it's already yours. The universe is always is already making that happen. It's yours. Everything is possible if you believe everything. Everything. And you don't, you don't believe me? Look around you. The signs are all around you. You just got to pay attention. You have to pay attention. Not only to the world around you, but to the pulse inside of, your, of this body, this vessel. Follow that pulse. Follow that feeling from your heart. Love, cherish, and appreciate. Give gratitude. Give thanks. For all these things will only ensure that you gain strength. You will build and you will get stronger and stronger. You should never indulge in negativity. Negative thoughts will only bring you down and break you. That's why I always push positivity and positivity alone because positivity will only build you up and make sure that you'll never, ever break that, sh that realm of weakness. You will never see weakness. You will never see fear if you only think positive and believe in yourself. You will never, ever see defeat if you believe in yourself and you believe in the power within you. With that being said, Man, peace, love, and positivity to everybody listening. And please share this video. I just hope that this video touches somebody and gets people thinking and get the conversation started. I just want to see all my brothers and sisters get awakened and finally get to where they need to be in life. Love y'all.